the solar eclipse is providing inspiration for art in Oswego and beyond. As our Clarissa Karki reports, from intricate paintings to mesmerizing music, artists both nationally and locally are channeling their creativity into captivating eclipse-inspired artwork. When the dance of the sun and the moon begins during the total solar eclipse, the world darkens and goes into silence, with only nocturnal animals stirring in the shadows. In the shadow, Wayne Grimm and his team from Exploratorium are making music from the eclipse using a process called sonification. Mostly I work with sound, but I thought it would be interesting to um, do something that was both visual and um, musical. Sonification is the process of converting data into sound. In this case, Grimm is turning the light from the eclipse into music. Here in Oswego, the solar eclipse is inspiring the artistic imaginations of some local artists. Bonnie Somers, an artist at Riverside Artisans in Oswego, hosts regular paint parties. The theme of her most recent paint party, Eclipse Over the Lighthouse. I know it was the, the solar eclipse, so it would be a midnight, you know, like, a, like a twilight painting. I had to really search it and see different ways that those blues and things came up and, you know, how it looked. Professor Natalia Lewandowska, the planetarium director at SUNY Oswego, says this paint party was particularly special because she was able to combine her passion for astronomy and hobby for painting. I do this for, for the fun and because I really like to use a different part of my brain when I paint. It's more like the artistic part comes out. So I Students and faculty at SUNY Oswego are also channeling their artistic site, showcasing their eclipse-inspired artwork. The, the buzz on campus is that it's going to be packed in, in crazy chaos, and I wanted to take a moment to just kind of look at the artwork of that. Professor Elizabeth Hunt, the organizer of the Looking Up Art Exhibition, says the exhibition includes a wide variety of artwork, including paintings, photographs, posters, book art, and sculptures. We have a, a lovely marble sculpture from a gentleman in curriculum um, who is a faculty on campus, but he is looking at the astronauts who actually set foot on the moon. The exhibition is located in Tyler Hall's art gallery on the second floor from April 4 to April 10. Whether you're a professional like Bonnie or an amateur like me, oh, everyone yeah. in Oswego is joining in on the Eclipse Fund. Clarissa Karki, Oswego Now.